the fourth out of six fight of this night. Once again, we have Jessica Rose Clark coming in against Jocelyn Edwards. Yes, folks, that's a tattoo. She has two face tattoos. Very scary. She's coming at 10 and 6. Uh, she's 33 years old, fighting out of the Bantamweight division, 135, coming at 5'5 five, five and 67 inch reach. Her counterpart this week is Jocelyn Edwards, coming at 10 and 3, coming off a loss. Um, she's 26 years old, also in the Bantamweight division, coming at 5'8 with a 70 inch reach. Obviously, a height and reach advantage for Jocelyn Edwards. I don't know. These fighters, in my opinion, kind of underachieve. And I, I love, I'll just hand this over to Zach. Zach, what do you think? Um, I guess to be general, what I think is that while the face tattoos are very intimidating, I don't think they're truly indicative of anything to necessarily be afraid of. Uh, I don't think Jessica Rose Clark off the off the page just comes at you and screams you know dominant angry uh, shit. I, I don't even really know what to say man i i think both of these ladies are particularly average which i just guess is seeming to be the underlying theme of this card is average you know she beats she beat sarah alpar that's a quality victory on her record She's fought the better competition. I mean, significantly. Pani Kianzad, she has a loss. Jessica I, she has a loss, which are two streakers in this division. Two ladies who are just continuing to get better and beat their opponents. Further back, she's got Paige Van Zant on the record. Then you look at Jocelyn Edwards, who's, I mean, she's still young. I'll give her credit that she still has a lot of room to grow. And I don't, I don't think she's a bad fighter by any means, but just kind of like I said about Jessica Rose Clark, very average. And then you look at her record, and she's got a loss to Sarah Alpar, albeit back in 20, 2018, 2018. But you, further down the record, like none of these women are stacking up to the competition you see on Jessica Rose Clark's side. I think this is probably going to be one of those matchups that we see these women – you know, kind of facing off against each other, kind of looking each other in the eyes from across the octagon, doing a lot of shadow boxing, trying to uh, test test the waters, test their range. I don't think this is going to be completely action packed by any means, but I think it, I think it stays on the feet for a majority of the fight. I think we see, you know, a couple of exchanges every round, and I think this ends up being a decision. For Jessica Rose Clark, and we all end up being mildly unsatisfied by the end of it. Mildly or extremely. So we <laughs> like women's MMA for like, I don't know, a couple more weeks until they give us some actual matchups. I mean, we've said this before, but like we love women's MMA. There's nothing wrong with it, but like, good lord, the difference in competition between the top and everybody else is just so pitiful. I mean. You either get lopsided wins for the girls that are at the top or, you know, these duds like they've put on the past couple of weeks. I mean, UFC, you have to do better. You have to find better competition or you make better matchups. Um, but to get more into this fight, I think Jessica Rose Clark gets into it. I think she probably has more um, advantage up against the cage and clinch work. I think that's probably where she will take it. Like Jocelyn Edwards stand up, but. It's just, you know, it's all right. It's average. She's not spectacular. She's not going to knock anybody out, in my opinion. And, you know, not going to really inflict that much damage. Um, the bantamweight re, uh, division is just dry. I mean, when you have Amanda Nunes at the top, she scares away everybody else. So I, I don't think there's much here in terms of entertainment either. I mean, if you want to see a girl with a face tattoo try to beat up another girl, maybe if that's your thing to look into but other than that i mean i see jessica rose clark getting a decision win i was about to say for all the face tack kinksters we have out there we appreciate you watching the cap kick experience 
<laughs> it has to be such a small demographic, Jesus Christ. Look, you could only hope, man. There's people that are into weirder shit. All right. <laughs> enough of this shit. Yeah, um, enough of that. Jessica Rose Clark is the minus 148 favorite this week against Jocelyn Edwards, who is the plus 135. I mean, I'm not going near confident or anything, but minus 140. If, if you feel co- more confident than us, and I'm sure goes to decision, obviously heavy favorite. I'm not really seeing anything here that excites me. Or, you know, when you got wins by TKO above plus 500, you, you're not going to really see any fireworks. I just, it, it's tough because you look at, you know, when Jessica Rose Clark is winning, she's winning by decision. You know, she's winning by decision, and she's, you know, she got the knockout over Sarah Allpar, but that comes with 421 left, or with 421 in the third round, 30 seconds left in the fight, if that. Long story short, what I'm getting at is you might think she has the advantage on the feet, but she's not known for finishing fights. She's not known of getting in and out, known for getting in and out of the octagon quickly. My whole point is that you can take her at money line at minus 148, but if you go down and take her by decision, you get plus 140. And I have no no disrespect towards towards Edwards. I have no bad wishes for her, but I think Jessica Rose Clark is probably going to win all three rounds. So if you can get unanimous decision at plus 185 to make yourself a couple of extra bucks, like that's not a bad bet either. I think probably saying that the fight in general goes to a decision at minus 275 could play in your advantage if you were going to make some parlays on this card. But just generally, I think Clark by by decision and unanimously so is the play yeah i'm not taking any props i'm i'm just taking clark just because but not really liking it zach not really liking it i couldn't care less myself either hey we're just waiting for 267 268 269 even i was about to say who who took him to the bank on 266 These motherfuckers, these guys. We took them to the bank, and that's a fact. That's a 